Here we're asked to calculate the concentration of lead in parts per billion. Let's recall the definition, parts per billion, mass of the part or the dissolved lead over the mass of the entire solution, and the multiplier is 1 billion parts per billion. Now we need to find a way to calculate both of these values. We look to the problem and we see we're given how much lead we have in solution and the amount of solution that we have. All right, so what we're going to do here is consider our solution. It's a very dilute solution, otherwise we wouldn't be measuring things in parts per billion. So we want to convert our five liters to the mass of the solution, and we can just assume that the density of the solution is the same as that of water, and that's one gram per milliliter. So five liters, 5,000 milliliters, 5,000 grams. All right, now another little bit of business in terms of getting units to work. Uh, milligrams are equal to one times 10 to the minus three grams. So we can express the mass of lead, which is 0.3 milligrams, as 0.3 times 10 to the minus third grams. We need to, to make sure that our units are the same, both top and bottom, otherwise they're not going to cancel out. So we have our problem set out and we just chunk out our values on the calculator. All right, so our final result is 60 parts per billion. This does exceed the EPA limit, so this water, according to the EPA, would not be safe to drink. The second part of this problem is to express the concentration of lead in this solution in units of molarity. So we're going to need moles of lead per liter of solution. All right, and here we have our answer to the correct sig figs. Uh, look at this number. This is a very low concentration, which illustrates why it's often convenient for these very dilute solutions to use PPM and PPB instead of molarity.